We begin tonight with a look at a resource for the LGBTQ community here in Bakersfield. The Center for Sexuality and Gender Diversity focuses on supporting anyone within that community. And as 23 ABC's Ruby Rivera finds out, volunteers from the center know the importance of the work they're doing. See this door behind me? It opens to a whole new world of acceptance and guidance. Organizers saying the center is a safe space for anyone part of the LGBTQ community and offers a multitude of resources. The services focus on our community and having a safe space for folks to, to come and just have one, one place where you can be yourself. Um, and be accepted for who you are. Chair of the Board of Directors for the Center for Sexuality and Gender Diversity, Emily Fisher, says services vary depending on needs. To better serve the community, the center has two locations. The downtown spot serves as a community gathering space and the other offers services like mental health services and workshops. Lovely location uh, downtown that's well decorated and you can expect to, to come in and understand a little bit about the community. The downtown location operates solely on volunteers like Jacqueline Vargas, who also serves as a youth and young adult council member. Vargas said her main reason for applying to be a part of the council was wanting to give back to her community. As a volunteer, Vargas is in charge of planning monthly events and discussing what changes they want to see happen in the near future. Her latest project was creating an informational pamphlet about native wildflowers as a part of their potting event. The information on the flowers and where it came from, um, the indigenous languages words for these flowers if applicable if available. Ace Moody is another volunteer who is in charge of facilitating a group called Gender Rebels, centered towards anyone who is non-binary, transgender, or anywhere in between. Offering support and resources, she says she came to the center because she wanted to see and be a part of real change. When I was younger here in Bakersfield, we had no resources. And, um, you know, a lot of things haven't changed and I would like to see that change. Fisher says she loves to see the center's impacts on the community and values the importance of welcoming people with open arms. A lot of times the LGBT community, you can bring part of who you are to work and part of who you are to your family. And at least here, you can bring your whole self and get to understand your identity with other folks who are part of the community. For anyone who would like to get involved in the center's work, they're in need of monetary donations and volunteers. That information will be posted to our website at turn 23com in downtown Bakersfield, Ruby Rivera, 23ABC News, connecting you.